Hi everyone, welcome to the Scrapbooking Photographer. My name is Linda and I'm here today to work on a hop for Mix It Up Monday, which is run by Tara O'Rourke and the Peace Craft Love Clubhouse. Now, the sketch that we're following is this one. So with the um, tire tracks behind, I immediately thought of a tire track stencil, which I have, which I wanted to use. And that seemed to go really well with some photos that document a new car that we bought a few years ago. So I'll have a go with those. Now, this sketch just has one photo spot there. So I'm using that spot, but I have actually got three photos. So I've trimmed these down and I'm going to mount them in the scarlet or on the scarlet. I've also just put a little bit of masking tape over the number plate. I don't know if that's necessary or not, but in this day and age it seems to me that you can't be too careful when you're putting stuff on the public forum. So I'll take the masking tape off once um, the photos go in the album, obviously. Right, so we'll go one, two, three, something like that. Now that's not going to give me a lot of room for um, the tire tracks as per the sketch. Um, so I'm going to put a piece of grey underneath. I have gone higher and lower as you can see, so that's okay. We will adapt. So I'm going to use a piece of grey and I'm going to come quite wider than it says so that I can incorporate some tire tracks and some other things that are in the sketch. That's cool. All right, that gives us a bit more of room. Now, I'm just going to grab my pencil. Very rough guide as to where I don't need any of the um, tire tracks. Now, in the background, I'm also going to do some mix, mixed media on the white so I'm just going to bring this across and do the same sort of thing whoops down there and there as well okay I'll have to erase that right so now I've got two pieces to do my mixed media on so let's start with the tire tracks because that's the one I'm most looking forward to to doing and the probably the one I'm the most confident about I think I'm fairly new to mixed media so I'm learning as I go and learning a lot from the other people in this and these hops so I'm going to practice first on here so this is the stencil that I'm going to use and one thought I had was to use stickles but I don't know how they're going to come out and the car is a beautiful shiny red so I'll just try that just, I just want to try a few different things and see what happens. Option one. So option two is using some intense black ink with my uh, texture paste. Option two. Option three is the liquid pearls. I think would take a longer time to dry. It's got little bubbles in it. And it's running, so it hasn't got enough oomph, enough solidity to, to stay where I want it. So, option one was the glitter, option two was the texture paste, option three was the liquid pearls. So I think the winner for me is option two. I just add a little bit of stickles.
Right, so I'll move that to dry overnight and hope the cat doesn't sit on it. And then we'll bring in this white piece of back paper. I'm going to put, squeeze the top on so that I can get some ink on the lid like that and then use the water brush just to add a little bit of water to mix that up. I haven't really done this before so <laughs> it's all learning so I'm just going to start where the, the pictures will be finish that you need to dry the inside of the lid because you don't want the water to contaminate the ink pad. So I'm going to go in there again with some pewter so I'm going to do the same technique. I've cleaned my brush. This time actually I'm going to move it off the mat because I want to come in from the other side. I realise now that I haven't done anything on that side so I'll have to do the whole process again over there. So I've done the other side and it looks incredibly amateurish to me but I have faith that when I put it all together it will look better. So I'll just bring the other piece in there because I'm going to leave them like that overnight. But given our cat and his tendency to lie on things that are none of his business, I'm going to use the good old kitchen food cover to keep it safe. So this should be dry now. It's been protected overnight. The first thing I'll do is adhere the photos onto this piece. Kind of got a bit of a guide from the pencil marks that I put on there before I put them out and I'll just place them lightly first before I push down. Just move them up a little bit. I really like how the silver stickles has come through in the um, in the texture paste overnight. I'll give you a close-up look at that in a minute. Let's get these stuck down. And if we bring it up close, you can see the, the sparkle that's come through in that texture paste, um, which is pretty cool. So here's the sketch. So we've got a few uh, little bits to put on the side and a piece out the side here and then the embellishment. So not much to do really. So for the embellishments, I have cut some things from my um, Cricut so I quite like the key and I cut this out because I quite like it said um, this is how I roll but I'm not happy with it being I because it's our car so it's a wee thing but that part there might work well underneath there with the extra bits out the side a bit like a steering wheel so I'm going to use that there and I've also cut some little steer, some smaller steering wheels. So I'm going to use one of those. I might have to move everything over actually. I don't want it centered, but I just need a little bit of room over here. They don't have to go all on there, just so that we we'll get some of it there. <coughs> and up the top. So, and the other thing I've got is some wheels, which are quite big. So, and that has a, a hubcap in the middle of it. So I might just use um, half of one of those and kind of come in down there 
or and the same up there but I do want a third element in there so I might put a little bit of grey and try and blend behind it okay so I've got the tag from a, a thin cut here which I'm going to make the tag to come out here which I'm going to put the key onto so I'll do that okay so I have got um, cut the key out or the tag out for the key to go on so that's just going to slip in under here to cover some of that then I've got this piece that's going to go there and I've also cut out some of the lighter side of the pewter which will match in with the lighter side I've used there <clears throat> just to put underneath um, here somehow just to give us that third colour and to bring that triangle of colours in <clears throat> so before I stick anything down I really want to just edge those pieces. So just these bits here. I'm just going to go around them with the blending foam and just darken the edges of everything to break it to bring it all in together. So I won't show you that all the way through. I'll do that and come back when it's done. I've inked those edges now, so it just takes that white cut look off the edge of things um, and it will help blend everything together. Now, I'm going to stick that on there, and this was where the title was going on the sketch. So the title is pretty simple here, it's going to say New Car. And I've got these letters from left over from Creative Memory, so I'm going to use them up. <clears throat> so first up, I'll just stick this key on here so I don't put the letters in the wrong place get that pretty centralized and then we've got quite handy with just two three letter words we can get it pretty clear So that's going to go there, this bit's going to go underneath, I think I might cut it short, just go underneath there and just distress the sides of it. I'm just going to pop that under there and have that line coming up halfway there. I've got the light grey circle which matches in with the light grey here and so that gives me a triangle of that light grey colour. These will give me a triangle of the blacks but I don't think we need the whole uh, one there but they're a little bit smaller so I might put that on the side there and that there and then the big ones which will give me the triangle of the scarlet here, here and here and I'll just interweave them a little bit over the photo like so. Now it doesn't necessarily look anything like the sketch um, but I'm going to stick it down and we'll see what it looks like then. So I'm just adding the last piece in here and just bring it down a bit from the corner Okay, and I'll just grab my scissors and then if we turn this up the other way we should be able to easily cut off these overhanging bits that are just in the way. I'm just going to put a few uh, liquid pearls in the dark colour around here, just randomly. And again, these will take a while 
to dry, I expect. Okay, and then I need a couple of little journaling strips. And I'll just quickly go over them with the black dauber. So I've added the journaling strips and a little bit of journaling, just explaining how we've gone from two cars to one with the purchase of uh, the CX-5. And we did it just post lockdown, so it was a bit of a treat really. So I should have said that this sketch has been created by Scrapping Harden, who is uh, Christine Steele Harden, and I'm not sure, but she may be in this hop as well. So um, if she watches this, I hope she doesn't mind the way I have um, gone away a little bit from the sketch. But this is my finished creation, relatively new to the mixed media, loving what I'm doing, and I'm quite happy with the page and the way it's growing on me. So it certainly made me think about some different techniques and different things that I could incorporate, particularly as the page was about a car. Um, and I don't have a whole lot of ephemera that is going to suit that topic. I might just put a little string in here and then I'll add some close-up photos at the end of the video. Please watch what everybody else has come up with. Your subscription would be very much appreciated. Thank you very much. Have a great day and happy crafting.